Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, so I'm back with uh, another video, another routing method uh, of application gateway. So this time we are going to configure app gateway as per path based routing. Okay. So uh, in this, uh, the prerequisite as as per this particular configuration in app application gateway is exactly the same that we had in the previous videos. We have two uh, web servers, Debian and Ubuntu, different flavors of the uh, Linux. In Debian, we have uh, Apache and Ubuntu, I have uh, Nginx server, but we have also created one more uh, folder uh, and with the name like videos in Debian and one more folder in Ubuntu as images so that we could uh, establish or accomplish URL based routing or path based routing. Okay. So uh, just wanted to show you this, what this uh, lab is going to accomplish. If somebody requests on the public IP of uh, application gateway, it will see the URL if there is uh, because we are taking the example of video or images. For example, there is this application uh, who is serving videos and images and videos are located on one server of pools and images are located on one server of pools uh, and application will decide uh, as per the URL on which server this request will land. It's as simple as that. It's just like uh, make your application more performant. And uh, that's how it's gonna work. If you would have image in the URL of your request, then it will send the request to the backend image pool. Or if you have videos uh, in the URL, it will send on the video pool. So it's not only about the image and uh, video pools. You could have n number of pools, n number of key word that you can uh, determine or figure out as per your environment and design your URL based routing. Cool. I hope this concept is uh, clear now. So uh, let me go ahead and quickly create one. Okay, the prerequisite is same one virtual network with app gateway subnet and two virtual machine with web server installed and I've created one I'll show you here I've created one uh, under HTML images folder and one uh, uh, videos folder under the other other server. Okay. Now let me quickly go back to application gateway. Well, you know the drill because if you if you are with me for the last couple of videos, how we are going to do this. I have already created one where we'll show the configuration, uh, the uh, where we will measure the configuration because it will take 15, 20 minutes, but uh, I don't want you guys to wait with me. So I've already created one, so just to show you. But for now, I'm showing you how to create one, so. We need the resource group. <clears throat> we need the name, app gateway 01. We need the location, UK South. Standard B2 is good enough, no need auto scaling. Virtual network you need to select, as I said, that's the prerequisite, and the subnet. Front end is a public IP, as uh per as other videos i've already explained this is for the demo purpose so that we can show you uh the request is coming from somewhere else on the public ip now here we need to add a backend pool now i'm going to hit the backend pool you can simply uh add here like a uh, video pool and you can add the uh vm which is hosting videos uh, or add. I'm not adding because it will take a lot of time uh, in, in during the configuration, during the deployment. So I'll add it on the existing one. But that's how I've created name, image pool, and we'll add uh, the image virtual machine at the backend. Machine which has all the images for this particular demo. We'll go to the configuration now. We have the front end uh, 
that is public IP where the request will receive. We have the backend which will serve the request. We got video pool and image pool. Now we need to define the route, routing rules. On what basis the request would be routed, how it will be routed, that thing. So the request would be listened by the listener. We already covered that. Listener 01. Uh, we need to give the listener name. Oh, sorry, this is the rule. Uh, this is the name of the rule. So let me copy this and put it here. And let me give it a rule uh, URL. Listener 01, where we want to listen on the public IP on HTTP protocol port 80. We, we have already done the these both basic and multi-site. So let's add it. This time it's URL based. So backend pool, let's let, let me choose the video pool as a default one. And HTTP setting, we gotta create uh, HTTP setting. Already explained what it is in the previous videos. Uh, that's how the traffic will land on your backend servers, which will which will be hosting the backend web app or in our case, it's images or videos. So I just clicked here on URL path. I'll show you again. Let me call it images, not in ages. If I could type it correctly, images. Uh, be very cautious when you perform this uh, lab because the these things, you know, paths, asterisks, name, and the backend pool. Do not uh, add by mistake the video pool, uh, video serving machine in the image pool, else it will start giving you the bad gateway error. So backend uh, target, this is uh, images. So we'll choose the image pool and we'll add. Similarly, we will add one more where it would be videos. And if you are, if you're looking at this, it gives you the example foo slash asterisks dot bar slash asterisks. You can use any method <clears throat> the way you want this to be served. Same HTTP setting will work for me. And this is video pool at. All right. Now, both the uh, path has been added, both the pool has been added. So let's click add and uh, hit tags, review and create. Now it will, it will validate the configuration and the validation is passed. I'm gonna click create. Now it will take 15 to 20 minutes. So let me quickly go back to the application gateway two. This is a good way to shorten the video and helps people to actually learn rather than waiting for a lot of things, you know. Uh, so this is the application gateway too. We have the same configuration. I can show you standard backend pool. I have a video pool and image pool. These two are in use. I can delete this. It's of no use. Uh, video pool has uh, VM at the backend. VM, Debian VM which has the video uh, to serve or video folder so that URL would have video in it and it will land it on the video pool. Similarly, we have image Ubuntu. We have added at the backend. HTTP setting, same. For the backend front end, we know listener is on port 80 and it is binded to the rule. Rule is what? Rule is this one, which is uh, path-based routing. You can see type is path based and you can even see here that's how it is so everything is same so let's quickly go ahead and try to browse with uh, video and images in the url just to confirm just to see if it works this is the public ip of my application gateway if i do videos and enter you see this is Debian VM, Pajera Talks, App Gateway demo in progress. Now, if I'll do th this, this line, this is coming from that web server, <laughs> right? So if I do 
images and enter. Now you see, this is from Ubuntu VM. So if I use images in the URL, it hits the that particular VM, which is serving as the backend under the image pool, Ubuntu, right? So that's how we can do path-based routing. Uh, and this is the very little demo, and it's a wonderful feature that people utilize all the time. Well, thank you for watching, and you have a good day. Bye-bye.